you want to be a mobile developer who can build apps that works on both platform Android and iOS, this video is for you. Hello heroes and welcome to HeroDev YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna give you a great roadmap with some resources to, to learn the React Native Framework. React Native Framework is a framework to build to build application that works on both platform Android and iOS. Without any further ado, let's get let's get into steps. Step number one is a JavaScript. JavaScript is a programming language and you have to learn the basics only. I don't want you to be professional at JavaScript. In the beginning you can you can learn the basics. The basics like how to create variables and constants, uh, if conditions, for loops, switch cases, those things. No need to be professional at the beginning. So that's step number one. Step number two is React.js. React.js is, a, React Native, is a, a JavaScript library for, for building web applications. It's a great library. Uh, you have to know um, you have to know JSX uh, props, state, how to manage state, how to how to use hooks. Uh, you don't need all of hooks at the beginning. You just uh, you just need the at the beginning use a state and use effect hooks and if you if you learn more um, that would be wonderful but let's get into the basics at the first after this you will be you will get into react native and you have to be able to create react react components and to render the ui using uh, some components components like view text text input touchables like crispo touchable opacity lists like uh, flat list and components like uh, scroll view to scroll in the screen and how to style them in react native uh, after this networking you'll be able to manage requests get request post request delete request uh, and put request how to manage the, your data with the database, how to post data in the database, how to get data from the database. And uh, here in the description, uh, in this channel, I have created a React Native, a React Native Networking course that will get your level high uh, because it sub, it's support all methods and I described all the four methods using Axios and Axios is a great library to handle HTTP requests and uh, in this course too you have a full application that you can implement step by step in this course the next step is to manage global state global state it's uh, different from local state global state it's the state of uh, something like the state of the all app when something because in react uh, state cannot be passed like props cannot be passed from component to another component so if you want to manage the global state uh, in all components, you, are, you need something like Redux, Redux Toolkit, uh, React Query, uh, Mobix. Uh, I recommend Redux and Redux Toolkit, and it will it will be wonderful if you if you learned React Query too. And there are uh, context API. It's built in in React JS, and you can use it, and you can use it too to handle global state. Next, next step is navigation and navigation uh, is how to move between screens in the app and how to move with uh, passing some data from screen to another uh, navig React navigation is very important to be to learn React Native and finally publishing apps to, to App Store and Google Play Store uh, how to create ABK and AAB, how to create the test flight versions and upload it to App Store and Google Store. And um, that's our roadmap, our quick roadmap that you can that you can use to be a React Native developer uh, in a short time. Okay. Um, and don't forget the resources in the description. I give you some resources that will that that are gonna help you 
in your journey to learn React Native. And don't forget to subscribe and and hit the like button because in this channel I am now we are making tutorial tutorials in the future and there are many there are a tutorial right now that you can learn from it react native networking you you just check the description box and thanks for watching